we use that side? It's easier to measure because so you can measure from the top of the pulley here to where it contacts there. And when you do this, you want to hold say an even mark on there. Okay. Right? So why don't, you, why don't you do that? All right, thank you. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And currently we have a science department and a math department, and we offer computer science, but there isn't as much coordination between the departments as we might like. There isn't an ongoing conversation between the departments that helps students reach out across the boundaries of the individual departments. And as we move forward, that's something we're looking to fix. There's a, an important conversation happening nationally around the need for the United States to be producing more scientifically literate citizens. And in addition, there's a, a call at the national level for an increase in the number of science, technology, engineering, mathematics majors that go into undergraduate. The, the country has been putting a lot of resources behind that idea in general. And if you think about St. Mark's mission to educate students for lives of leadership and service, our role is to make sure that we're fulfilling what is arguably a national need right now. One of the things that uh, the first robotics program is, is really aimed at is, is giving kids an opportunity to, to discover that, that passion in engineering and, and, uh, and STEM. And uh, it, it certainly does that, but you know, the robotics is, is such a, it, it's a very broad uh, field. Not only is it for you know, kids who want to be uh, you know, mechanical inventors, but it's also for kids who want to be computer programmers and kids who want to be um, managers of a team and get involved with uh, you know, talking to other people about sponsorships and mentorships and things like that. So it's really quite broad and, uh, and really pulls a lot of kids in. I think that's sort of exactly how I would describe it. It's sort of part, um, this part basketball game, part NASCAR competition, and part rock concert, I suppose. I was really impressed and proud of our students for, for their ability. We have a small team relative to other schools. We only had about nine students. Other schools are bringing 50 students to the same competition. So this is an initial effort that we're getting up off the ground. It does teach a lot of team building, but it also teaches a great deal of science, and there's hands-on opportunity for that. That's, I think, one of the most impressive things that's happening at the school right now. It's basically just the thrill of making like a large robot and working with a whole bunch of kids together. And just, um, I don't know, kind of being on a team, probably making something that you, you can't believe that you can actually make first off in the time frame, and then watching it work and watching it do things and watching it behave and stuff. And I, I just love that, this idea of sort of, we're putting something together, we make something way more fantastic than we ever thought we possibly could in the short, short span of time we have, and then doing it. I really like the arts and robotics. I thought it, it was, out of all the clubs, um, very similar to what I wanted to advance myself in, which was like, it, I like computers, I like anything to do with like computer science, personally. So I wanted to kind of see how they make robots and also participate in their artsy side of the team more. That actually is one of the cornerstones of what we want for STEM, is that you don't necessarily have to see yourself as the math genius or the computer science programmer who, who's you know, already written an app. So you, you have students like Garam who doesn't necessarily see herself as a science person, but yet given the way we're approaching this, there's an opportunity to create. And I think that the creative space, the creative side of science and technology and engineering mathematics is where we can make a unique mark in the field. I think that the skills are changing, but the way that, you, that we as humans use our talents is always the same. Um, you know, I remember a time uh, when St. Mark's had wood shop and technical drawing with pencils. And you know, that hasn't changed. We still need to know how to take an idea and turn it into a thing. Uh, we still need to be able to get our ideas down on paper. Maybe we're not using wood lathe anymore, uh, but are, are using uh, you know, materials like plastics and aluminum and, and things like that, you know, that we make robots out of. And maybe when we do drawings, we're using CAD programs in, in, in the computer. But it's very much the same sorts of things that we need to be able to communicate these ideas to each other with. For me, the, the most exciting part is, uh, is working with kids in the, in the moment where they really discover what their passion is. Mrs. Brown is one of the math teachers and she's also one of our uh, teacher mentors on the team and she really encouraged me to stay with, with the program uh, as well as Mr. Wells. 
um, who, who really got my interest in the actual building aspect of it um, much higher. And so I, I really learned to, to love what I was doing uh, through the help of Mr. Wells and uh, Ms. Brown. I'm trying to have uh, students that are interested in science really get some hands-on experience and see what it's like. I'm also trying to have students that wouldn't necessarily think of themselves as scientists or mathematicians um, that, but like to solve problems or like to tackle a challenge um, and draw them in and, and let them see what, what they can do. A really great thing about having alums and parents uh, in, in the area that are they're helping uh, with uh, you know, bringing our, our kids' experience in the outside world, um, both through you know, uh, FIRST Robotics and also with our, our new Science Research Fellowship Program, uh, is that uh, the kids make contact with what's going on in the field, uh, out in the real world. I have an opportunity to work in, in laboratories or work uh, you know, in country, um, and uh, that's, that's really a great opportunity to broaden their, their uh, scope beyond the walls of the classroom. It's extremely enjoyable because you don't get to see so many outside people in boarding school because it's mostly just faculty, dorm heads, things like that. And it's really nice to be able to get all these outside people in to see different views and like how it's a, everything that we're doing is kind of applied in the real world. Some people worry about St. Mark's trying to be the MIT of the ISL. That, that was sort of a phrase that was thrown around about this. And I think when you, when you think about what the national dialogue around STEM education is and what the opportunity is for a school like this, and if you think about allowing all of our students to engage with these fields in some way, that there's a real opportunity for the school in terms of curriculum development, in terms of connecting across the boundaries, some traditional boundaries of a math department or a science department. That strikes me as, as really one of the most promising aspects of our STEM initiative. We're going to be able to reach all of our students because of this. And it doesn't necessarily change the character of the school, but improves on some pre-existing strengths of the school. We're talking about interdisciplinary studies. We're talking about better coordination between the science and math departments. So it doesn't mean that you won't have a science department or a math department and you, you might not teach calculus. It's, well, what's the context for why a student should want to know calculus? And trying to trying to get to a place where our students see themselves more as creators of content than as receivers of content. And that's a, that's a shift, but I think it's a really good shift. And again, that's a, definitely a shift within the national conversation on education these days. I really like and encourage kids to kind of, you know, if they're given something like in, in robotics or computer science, to take it and like sort of express themselves somehow, some way, any way, you know, and, and see just sort of what, come, what they can come up with, because kids can come up with great stuff. So, so that, that's what I like to do. I like to sort of find something like sort of concrete, like, you know, programming like a microchip, and then let's see what we can do with it. That's the idea. <laughs>